Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new League of Myths episode. This one will be focusing on the Gangplank rework. But as usual, if you end up enjoying this one, don't forget to hit the like button. But let's go into the first myth. This one is asking, what is the longest chain of GP barrels that you can have? So this one I'm sure is something that most people are wondering just because why not? And as I fast forward myself setting up all the barrels you see that I do have my ultimate at rank 3, I have maximum cooldown reduction and my E ability is max level. And based on the timer of the first barrel I put which is only 60 seconds, I was only able to put 11 barrels. But just to make sure 11 was definitely the maximum, I tried it one more time and at the end you're gonna see me trying to wait to put on another barrel making it the 12th. However at the top left you see I have the very first barrel I placed selected and you see the timer at the bottom slowly going down. So even though I did try waiting for that extra barrel being the 12th, it simply could not happen because even now that I waited just a few seconds, the last barrel being the 11th didn't even explode because I ran out of time. So the max does seem to be 11. The next myth is asking will Avra's blade grant GP bonus gold upon destroying his own barrels? So for those that don't know, Avarice Blade has a unique passive where it grants you 2 gold upon killing a unit, which you saw me do on the minion right there. But the question is, are the barrels also considered units? Well the answer to that is yes and no. So first testing it with GP and his own barrels, I want to auto attack it with my basic attack and the answer is no, I don't get the bonus 2 gold. But testing it with the Q next, it actually yields the exact same results and I do not get the bonus gold. However, if I were to destroy an enemy GP's barrel, playing whichever champion does not have to be Gangplank himself, then the answer is yes, I do get the bonus to gold because then the barrels are treated as a unit. Moving on to the next myth, can Spell Shield block two barrels stacked right on top of each other? So first things first, getting the simple stuff out of the way, can Spell Shield even block a barrel? Well, as you see here, the answer is yes. Alright, well what if two barrels are stacked right on top of each other, will the spell shield block one barrel and then the champion will get hit by the second? Well the answer you see here is actually no. And what we ended up finding out was the fact that if spell shield blocks at least one barrel, any other barrels hit within the same succession of the same explosion are not going to be affecting that champion anymore. So blocking it still counts as the champion interacting with the barrel, thus not being affected by any further barrels from the same chain. The next myth is asking, can GP's orange remove Nocturne's ultimate that prevents him from seeing? So we all love and hate GP's W ability because it can really remove almost anything that goes negatively on GP. However, based on this example right here, Nocturne's ultimate does seem to be an exception. And apparently eating an orange will not help him see better. The following myth is asking, can GP's Q with Hydra apply the AoE? And if so, will you get multiple bonus gold? So killing units with GP's Q does give him bonus gold which is why using your Q on a barrel and killing minions is also a very efficient way to farm. But luckily the same thing applies to the team at AoE effect in which if you use your Q, kill a minion and the AoE from the team at with the Q kills more minions, you get bonus gold from every single minion killed that way. Moving forward to the next myth, can someone teleport to Gangplank's barrels? So in this example here, you're going to be seeing myself and the Renekton standing around much like idiots because simply the teleport summoner spell does not work on barrels and no matter how much you spam it, it will not happen. I'm a little surprised about this because for some reason I thought you might actually be able to teleport to a barrel but the answer unfortunately is the fact that you cannot. This one is going to be asking, can Gangplank use his W while within Bard's ultimate? So even though Bard's ultimate acts just like a Zhonya's effect, it is still an ultimate coming from an ability. But unfortunately for Gangplank today is really just not his day because he cannot use his oranges to cleanse this as well. He might want to start thinking about switching his fruits. But let's move on to the next myth, can the ghost of Gangplank from Mordekaiser's ultimate proc the barrels? So this one is going to be very straightforward in terms of testing. We have two different barrels, one from myself and one from an enemy Gangplank. And as Mordekaiser kills me and gets me as his ghost, he's going to be trying to use the ghost to attack either of the barrels and see if the barrel either explodes or gets denied. But as cool as this would be to test and find out, unfortunately the answer is the fact that the ghost can't even attack the barrels, which once again does come to me as a surprise. Maybe right in the future will make it so that Gangplank can actually attack the barrels while he's in the ghost form. And the final myth of this episode, can Gangplank use his W midair to save himself or during Yasuo's ultimate? So first, let us test a very simple and standard knockup being Janna's tornado. As it flies towards Gangplank and he gets put in the air, he can still use his orange and get his HP back but however, it seems like he has to wait until he lands before he can move. 
But now let's test it out with Yasuo's ultimate and as he throws his tornado and finally uses his ult, I am still able to eat my orange while I'm in the air and it also seems to negate the damage from Yasuo's ultimate. Which overall is a pretty interesting interaction. Alright guys, that is it for this episode of the League of Myths series featuring the rework gameplay. If you end up enjoying this one, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, check out my other videos as well, I'd really much appreciate it. But once again, hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you for the next one. Peace.